welcome everyone to the tutorial to today's tutorial today we're gonna learn about to the basic card actually in the actions on google there are few visual responses like um, uh, to deal with the situations where you have to give more information to user uh, these are the options that basically run on the screen devices uh, like mobile tab or tv uh, those devices which have screens you can run these visual options on a screen so there are few um, uh, list few basic card carousels these are the some uh, responses that actions on google provide uh, so that we can give more uh, information to our user in a very usual visual manner that we, anyone can like anyone can uh, view it more sophisticatedly in, instead of just giving a uh, chat bubbles okay so let's get started today we're gonna learn this uh, how to implement our uh, basic cart in our um, app actions on google so uh, as you are already continuing to the last uh, two videos that i uploaded so i think you have your code in the directory so we are going to work with the same code today um, let's so let's get started with the vs code and see how we gonna code this okay so this was the first intent we created so the uh, we are going to learn today how to create an intent too so the in which intent you want to give a basic card uh, so let's just create an intent thereafter we are going to code that okay let's just close these things mm, go to dialog flow console okay we are going to create intent let's just name it about tom okay we're going to name we can name this or this for sake of what okay so um, this is um, the name of intent or about intent okay so there are a few context we are going to learn about context in uh, future tutorials and uh, events i told you uh, a little bit about event in a um, probably in second tutorial where we created our intent uh, welcome uh, and then we put the event welcome and this is called a um, training phase how what how what to the training phase is like how to invoke this intent uh, you going to you know, what user will say so that uh, uh, this will invoke uh, this intent so we're going to put training phase into that and what will be the response okay so always remember if you are going to use webhook the first thing you need to do just go to fulfillment and uh, enable the fulfillment or where you have actually we're gonna to use webhook call as you can see like we are using node.js so enable this webhook and um, obviously we are going to add training phrase mm, just think, tell me about tom I want to know about Tom. Or things like that. See, here actually you can uh, this dialog flow console actually can recognize himself what is the some common entity. Entity is what like a domain a range, uh, like the animal entity will be like cat, dog, lions, anything entity that will consist in animal entity that will come in animal. The, like the name is given a given name. Uh, Tom is a common name for an for the people so the entity will be a given name and there will be lots of names like Tom, David, and Indian any names with the large data set they have they define it in that entity class so the entity will be given, <coughs> given name 
and the parameter is a given what the value of that entity is tom so uh, we enabled out the book fulfillment uh, we filled our training phrase so all then save this always remember to save this because like sometimes you forget you can't uh, do it okay so we created our intent isn't uh, this will uh, training learning it will start again in build to, so you don't have to worry about these things this is actually very simple to create okay so we are going to move to our uh, actions on uh, google <coughs> node.js and let's write this code okay so let's write this code for uh, our given intents uh, okay app dot intent you i explained these things in our last tutorial if you don't know just check it out okay so always remember to give the name same name as you give on the name of your intent in dialog flow console let's see what we give the name about tom so the name of your intent will be about tom okay and uh, then we are going to give an input uh, function that will take a parameter con and it will return the values okay so uh, the thing is key when you are going to give a rich response these are basic cards are called rich response if you are going to give a rich response then mm, it's not like direct you can direct invoke uh, rich in uh, rich response directly because these are the some design rules that are provided by the creators of actions on google that uh, uh, you have to give a simple response first and then you can give a rich response okay and in one intent you can only give three responses okay so we are going to write a simple response first all these are the key things that you have to remember if you don't do this you will face error okay in deploying in a testing and everything before giving using basic card you actually have to, to import that um, functions to our uh, uh, working directory so we are going to import basic card Mm, and con dot ask hey this this is the info about term okay S and now we are going to use basic card before writing basic card let's just learn a uh, few things about it okay uh, what are the basic card and what are the things is in there so you can add see uh, this is the um, uh, image that you can give in basic card this is a title a subtitle a uh, text field and then a button okay these are the uh, required uh, these are like images not required if you are giving this uh, title okay if i am using only word then you can uh, then you can you have to give a uh, image okay if you are using title then you can uh, choose not to give image and not to give um, a button okay so these are the things that to uh, mainly uh, basic cards needs okay so let's get started um let's fill the title here is knowledge about here is knowledge white knowledge and <laughs> um, here is about this like this is getting too close about tom let's get subtitle mm. 
Tom is a good boy. Mm, then give text. Hey, this is about Tom. Why? Hey, this is about Tom. He is a subscriber of Boring Quotes. If you like it, you should. Also, subscribe to Boring Codes. Okay. So, actually, you can you know, change text a bit. Like, uh, if you want to uh, emoji, you can put an emoji in it. If you want to um, a strong letter, just uh, like if you want to put an a strong letter, you can just mark it down with double star if you want like italics then you can use underscore these are the few things you can use um, I, I, I will put uh, this in description this is not actually required you can uh, I, uh, give the link of that page where you can check that out how to mark up these things okay so and let's just put a uh, image okay so image do not miss comma We are going to use image functions for image and this function will take argument like what will be the title that uh, image some title um, and URL it takes an URL of that image so what I actually used to prefer to do like I find the uh, image hosting website uh, free image image hosting website that you can go to imagebb.com it is uh, actually very good I have been quite using this from a few times you can use this mm, go to open this go to any image whatever you want just anything okay let's just open this it uploaded let's upload this we have to use HTTPS link for that let's see if this gonna work or not okay and uh, give a button okay. do not miss comma do not miss comma or we for button we going to also use uh, again use a button Just import everything. And for button, you have to give the uh, URL of what you are um, going to use. <coughs> okay. 
and like for image i am sorry misleading i think that will be alt we, uh, you have using the mm, alt thing like in the html or something like uh, that uh, markdown language so we give alt and um, let's just give some url anything will work let's just give like some any url you want here just remember use uh, always give this value in https then if you don't do this you will face error while uh, submitting it okay so url and the title of the button image I think our basic card is done. It is, let's make explain it once. Mm. So here uh, we have used the com dot ask because if you don't use this com dot ask, you cannot implement the uh, basic card. It will face error. Okay, and uh, then we give our basic card. And this will take an argument new basic card, <coughs> and new basic card arguments like title, subtitle, text, image, button. These are the some. You uh, titles you can put like there is an also an, an option of display if you want like display mm. uh, display can takes value like crop default mm, let's just play default if you don't give an value it will also take a default so I think we are done with um, app dot intent and let's just deploy it and see how it looks like okay so i'm gonna just pause this video and finish this while it comes so for if you guys like liking these channels you can also share with your friends the people are using um, trying to learn actions on google and those things okay so it will help me to grow my channel i so i can whatever i know i can reach out to more and more people uh, it takes uh, it taking a few time in deploying you can actually <coughs> you can use the command like firebase deploy uh, only like firebase deploy only fu functions you are going to de <coughs> deploy only functions directories so you can also use this thing what a single file you can um, also put like if you are going to use index.js but it will give you an error so uh, we are going to use firebase deploy for this project but you can also use firebase deploy only functions it will also work okay so let's see how our basic card implemented mm. let's go to the integration okay and just remember what we give our name hey what's up tom these are the our uh, tell me about Tom. Um, these are the, our training phrases for it. By this, we can invoke our um, about Tom intent. Let's see how it look like on our. about this simulator and everything i explained in our previous video so if you are not just check it out for that mm, these are the training phrase we put see we have done it 
it's creating error in this access but we can uh, we can see like you are facing uh, getting an error in image it did not taking a uh, image so let's just fix this uh, you can go to image bb and check uh, get it html link okay or let's get full link let's see if this is gonna work or not you get it uh, you know let me just put this image this let's see if this I'm going to display our image or not let's write fire paste deploy only functions See how this link is working or not. Okay. So up reset this and our new upload will reflect in this. still not getting um, this image mm, but uh, as you can see like uh, when you get a, a bold letter or a italic letter that we use uh, here is the title here is the subtitle and uh, let's let, let me just do it try it once doing this we'll just Mm, we are going to uh, HTML full linked. Okay, let's use this. Thing is, sometimes images are too. It's do not. It will not copy a bit between this. Well, let's see just it's basically I'm repeating these things but you get it <coughs> this is just an image hosting website you can put any uh, other image hosting website that will work for you this actually work for me always but uh, it's not working right now but it's okay i will figure it out or there is some reason
okay let's see this one more time yeah so the HTML link uh, will work for you okay and see has a, that image we actually uploaded and got it okay so uh, now you learn about how to implement the, the basic card uh, go for it uh, try it once and customize it put, you can also put them gif or gif whatever you say tell me about in comments uh, and uh, thank you uh, for this tutorial uh, subscribe to channel and like this video and comment if you want anything uh, more about this basic card so thank you